Royal Ascot, and enjoying the thrills of Gold Cup Day, the Queen leads a family party to the paddock. After admiring her two-year-old colt, Pell-Mell, a runner in the new stakes, Her Majesty was no doubt assured by jockey W.H. Carr that stable hopes were high. So to an exciting moment, as the Royal Party watched jockey Harry Carr swoop past the leaders in the final furlong to bring Pell-Mell home, a clear length winner. second Ascot triumph for Her Majesty that strengthens her position as the season's leading owner. Then followed happy congratulations from the Queen Mother and every great topper was duffed in salute as Pell-Mell was led in. In the unsaddling enclosure, trainer Captain Boyd Rochford shared the pleasure of victory for the colt was bred in the Royal Stud at Hampton Court. In the Gold Cup, Royal hopes loomed high when Atlas on the rails led British, French and Italian rivals into the final straight. However, Zarathustra, number eight, soon took over command. But watch Tiso, the Italian favourite, coming with a great burst on the rails. Urged on by Lester Piggott, Zarathustra galloped on resolutely to hold off French and Italian challengers and capture the £11,500 prize. And all Ascot shared the tribute to a great Irish-bred champion and to wonder jockey Lester Piggott. After galloping two and a half miles, Zarathustra decided it was time to stop. But led by his Irish owner, Mr. Terence Gray, he took his place of honour in British turf history.